do you think that crucifixion is something that is just i mean imagine this a person who has not committed a crime like jesus who is sinless yes who has got no i mean nothing basically to say that he deserves this kind of crucif crucifixion yeah, he didn't or punishment it. or whatever you want to call it so why does god basically kill an innocent person for the sins of others i mean where is justice here there's neither love kill himself yeah. what did he kill himself as a suicide as a sin as well either, either way it's bad isn't it god will obviously judge everyone in a just way but what i don't see is that no way god will punish someone for the sin of another because even in the old testament if you go to ezekiel 18 yes it says the son is not accountable for the sins of the father and the father is not account accountable for the sins of the son and to me that is justice and this is the old testament law so i'm asking in the new testament what happens why is it that god is god demands the blood of an innocent being like jesus yes for the sins of the person who has committed murders or rapes or or some someone who has stolen or whatever they have done it just doesn't seem to add up the merciful god who is able to forgive you is now demanding the blood of a human being how is that different to the aztecs and the the incas who basically sacrifice they had a ritual of sacrificial ritual yeah where they used to atone for their sins or whatever bad deeds or for getting a good harvest or what they used to sacrifice human beings now christianity somehow is now saying okay it's okay to sacrifice this human being so that we all can be saved it doesn't not add up. A human being. This was God Himself. So it's not it's our God. If it is God, ask to yeah. sacrifice some random purpose. You wouldn't ever be able to find a sin-free human uh, human being on earth. No, but if He was God, mm -hmm. then can God die? You see, it gets worse. It just gets worse. I accept that. It seems illogic. That's the thing. I no, no, it's not illogical. It goes against the Bible. According to the Bible, God is immortal. And if you're saying God died on the cross, then you're going against the Bible itself. So either way, it seems very bad. A, there's injustice being committed, where you kill an innocent man for the sins of others. B, you are now saying that he's God, and that gets even worse, because in 1 Timothy 6.16, it says he alone is immortal. You know what immortal means? It means someone who does not die. Someone who's not subject to death. The only one who's ever living and always living Never to die is God Almighty. But then you say God died on the cross by his own creation, which just seems ludicrous to me.